All right, Sam here today, and I'm going to show you the easiest way that you can possibly imagine to do a ramp test. This thing this is so easy, and we're going to do it on a small laser, and we're going to do it on a big one, and all you need is one of these. And, and I'm going to include a link to this down below in the description, and this is going to be so easy you won't believe it. Alright, first one we're going to do it on is the Monport K40. It's kind of a small laser. I already have a line set up here in uh, Light Burn to do. So, we're just going to burn this. Now, I got a pencil here too so it helps out. Now you'll notice what you want to look for is the narrowest part of this line. And to me, it looks to be about right there. And once you get that, you don't want to touch anything. And you want to move your laser head over top of that. Now, on this, on this K40, we can move it by hand. It won't hurt anything. So now, all you're going to do is stick your gauge up in here. You don't have to worry about trying to measure this in some kind of funny way or anything. It's right there. Now, this laser here, to get the best point, looks to me, we're going to get it right there. 16 millimeters. And you see how I'm lining that up now. So, what's going to happen when you go to line up your laser on a regular piece, you're just going to slide this in there and move up and down to wherever you're at. So we're going to 16. All right, now let's move over to the big laser. All right, now we're going to do this ramp test on the big laser. This is a Monport 60 watt, and we're all set up, and we're going to do this right now. And, uh, yeah. So... Here we go. It's gonna be more dramatic on this laser. All right, now, when you look at this one here, it looks like the smallest spot to me is about right in here. So, we can put our ramp here, and I'm gonna mark this with the tip. I don't, I don't have my pencil with me. Now I'm going to move my laser right over top of where we need there. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, right there. Now, as you can see, this one here gets in there about 21 millimeters. And that's about the right direction because I've modified this laser head. So, make it more user friendly for me. And uh, so now. See how easy that was? I mean, there's nothing to it. You don't have to uh, try to get something in here to measure that distance or estimate it. You just slide that right in there, and there you go. All right, now you saw me. You saw me do it. It's really easy. There's nothing to this. It's not. It's not rocket science or anything. It is so easy to do that. But you need to help yourself out with some tools. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to include the file down below in the description so you can download and make you one of these step gauges. It is so easy. And, and you watched it here, right here. You saw how easy that was to do. You don't have to do any kind of funky ruler sticking down in there, moving all your stuff around. You just slide this right in there and you're done. Now, you also look down below in my description. You can see you can get 6% off a Montport laser if you looking to get one and you know these are really good pieces of equipment I support Montport and uh, so yeah look in my description down below get you a discount discount code down there go get your laser y'all have a good day now bye